My name is Mark Arens. My hometown is Hartsville, Prince Edward Island, and I do cross-country skiing and biathlon. Sport has influenced my life uh, in a huge way. Uh, sport was when, from the very beginning, the opportunity for me to prove uh, my ability and not my disability. So through that, I've been through my high school, junior high, and into my uh, athletic career now with cross-country skiing, biathlon, on world stage at World Cups, World Championships, and at the Paralympic Games. It's given me that opportunity to prove to myself, most importantly, but everyone else as well, that it, it's what you make of the disability and not uh, that you have one. So what I like about uh, my sport and all sports in general is just the ability to get out there and have some fun. Uh, living in the mountains, I can now go, you know, I just get out my door and go for a couple hours run and be able to see some things that very few people get to see, uh, a glimpse of a mountain from a, a really strange trail or on a very unpopular trail. And, being able to explore new places as I travel the world, um, trying, trying out new trails, whether it's on s snow while I'm skiing, uh, running or biking, just seeing a little different piece of the world where I get to take in a moment of nature that uh, in that moment it's the only time it will ever happen and I get to appreciate that. So one of my best moments in sport has to be a uh, last couple of years ago in Sochi when I won my first Paralympic medal in uh, silver in the biathlon sprint. It's kind of a funny one because as I was racing, I didn't know where I was, uh, where I was in the finish order. Um, and I was one of the first guys to start, so therefore one of the first guys to finish. And I had to wait for all the fastest, some of the fast guys to still finish after me. Um, and during the race, I was in this moment, and I knew I had to shoot clean. I had four shots. My first four shots went down. They were perfect. And I was on this last target, took, it, took the shot, and as I took the shot, I'm like, I got this. And as soon as I said it, I knew I missed the shot, actually. And so I got up. I'm like, okay, got a race. Uh, got into the penalty loop, and that's kind of where I turned the whole race around and said, okay, this is my loop got to get back onto that course and make up this time because I knew I was feeling fast. So finished the race, had the best race of my life, came into the finish area. I had no clue where I was. I, I had taken the lead at that point, um, but I knew there were some fast guys behind me. So I had to kind of wait nervously until everyone finished before I knew. Um, and I didn't hear anybody announce. So finally my coach came into the uh, tent and said, congratulations, and said, where did I finish? And he's like, well, you're second by 0.7 of a second. And that's got to be my favorite moment. So the goals for me uh, in these upcoming games in 2018 in Korea, uh, f more of the same. Uh, I just want to continue where I was and where I am right now. Uh, being one of the best biathletes in the world and also work on my cross country. I want to get that raw speed of being able to compete in the cross country events. So my goal for 2018 is just to have the best races I can and on the way there being able to make myself the fastest skier possible. <laughs> 